You ever have those times when you just know you're right about something? You know what you say is accurate. You know exactly what you say is going to happen. But in the back of your mind, you're like, I hope I'm wrong. I, I would love to be wrong, even though I don't expect myself to be wrong, but I would love to be wrong about this. That is me when it comes to Bobby Wagner. It was reported yesterday that Bobby Wagner was visiting with the L.A. Rams. And you know the Rams. Like, if they want somebody, Matt Stafford. If they want somebody, Von Miller. If they want somebody, Odell Beckham. If they want somebody, Jalen Ram If they want somebody, Allen Robinson. If they <laughs> you get my point. If they want somebody, they get them. It was reported that Bobby Wagner was visiting the Rams and there was mutual interest. Whenever we hear about mutual interest, it's usually like, all right, well, it's a done deal because if you mutually like somebody, if they're interested and you're interested, y'all usually get together. So that's what I just knew was going to happen with Bobby Wagner. I just knew it was going to happen with the Rams because they get who they want. And we had a question from subscriber that we recorded this morning and somebody asked about Bobby Wagner. And I said, well, it would be nice, but he's visiting with the Rams, so we know how that's going to end up. But then it was reported today that he is visiting with the Ravens. And I was like, what? It, what? That was crazy. Now, I know after the whole Zadarius Smith thing, a lot of Ravens fans are proceeding with caution. As we like, it happened when they signed Michael Pierce. A lot of Ravens fans were like, is, is this real? Is, did it actually happen? Did he actually sign? Because so many Ravens fans got burned from Zadarius Smith and his signing uh, from the Ravens. Um, but if he, Bobby Wagner, visiting with the uh, Ravens, that's, it's a start. It, it's, it's a start. And hopefully, 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 they can get something done. Hopefully. And... One of the reasons that I, I, I would just love if this were to happen uh, would be because one of the biggest problems with the Ravens last year was giving up big plays uh, because guys just the communication was way off. Um, guys were out of place. They didn't know what to do. Then, of course, there ended up being a lot of backups that got inserted into the lineup throughout the year. Um, but Ravens gave up a lot of big plays. Part of them solving that would be the scheme. Changing the scheme, simplifying the scheme, just doing something different with the scheme. Um, another part that to, to help that would be health. Because you know a lot of guys got injured last year. Um, and that played a big part. But another part in that would be just having somebody who has knowledge, who has experience of being a leader in the middle of the field. Um, and Bobby Wagner, he would fit the role. Now, an another... Um, Issue that the Ravens had last year big time. Oh my goodness, it was so bad. And it was like at every level of defense, and it was so sad to watch. Um, probably the worst display of it last year, in my opinion, probably came in that the first Bengals game. It was tackling. It was tackling. Just poor tackling, bad tackling, terrible tackling. Bobby Wagner is an excellent tackler. Excellent tackler. He would give you a sure tackler. In the middle of the field. Isn't that what you want? You, you want that for sure. So, I mean, it's just, to me, it's, it's a no-brainer. Another thing, too. We know last year with Patrick Queen, he was just, he was sort of up and down. He, he was all over last year. He started off a little rough. Then they brought Josh Bynes back again. Um, and Josh Bynes, he... Alleviate, he alleviated some of the duties and pressure off of um, Patrick Queen. Then Patrick Queen started playing better, started playing a lot better, looked more comfortable. He had to think less, got to play more. So that it was a beautiful thing. Um, but then toward the end of the season, he started going sort of up and down again. Um, but if you have a Bobby Wagner, that would give you somebody who can really be like, and this he would be a Band-Aid. He obviously would not be a long-term solution. But Ravens, they should be in win-now mode, right? They should be in win-Super Bowl-now mode, right? I, I think they should. Um, so this would, it would be good for Patrick Queen. It would be good for the Ravens at linebacker. Um, it would be actually great for the Ravens at linebacker. Because it would, 
that's a position that just hasn't been being talked about enough this offseason. What the Ravens are going to do at inside linebacker. Um, another thing, too, with this move. Oh, man. Um, it's going to bring up a big conversation. Uh, and, and this, of course, it's a visit. So we, we, we hearing about this visit. There could be some visits that we may not have heard about, possibly. But this move will bring up the conversation um, about the Ravens adding somebody else on defense. Now, if, 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 because I know a lot of Ravens fans are not getting their hopes up. They're excited and be excited. But I know a lot of Ravens fans are not getting their hopes up until they actually see something definitive, something actually happens, something actually goes down with this deal. Um, but I know people are going to say, man, they, they added on defense again. What about offense? Ravens still have plenty of opportunity to, to still show like, hey, we still going to go in on offense too. They got, they got opportunity to show it. We still waiting. But they got opportunity to show it. Something that's funny that um, we brought up, it was brought up in the comment section. I was like, man, I never even thought about it like this before. Uh, well, well, you know how we talk about on here a lot that we really want the Ravens to really go in on offense, bring a playmaker, a, a game changer on offense at the wide receiver position. We got a Bateman. We got a Hollywood. We got a Mark Andrews. And them boys can all play. They can all play. But let's add somebody who is established and somebody who's like that, like a, a superstar at wide receiver. And the conversation has been, oh, man, Ravens got enough. Ravens got enough. Ravens don't need to add anything. They already got plenty of weapons. But what well, somebody brought up in the comment section a couple of days ago, there was like so many Ravens fans, they say that about offense, but they never say it about defense. They never say it about defense, ever. They never say, oh, Ravens got enough on defense. They don't need to add any more. They only say it about offense. They say, oh, the offense got enough. The offense got plenty. But on defense... They, they, there's no complaints. They got a Marcus Peters. They got a Marlon Humphrey. They got a Marcus. Nobody was like, all right, y'all be done. They was getting ready to add Zadarius Smith. Nobody was like, oh, no, 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 Zadarius Smith. That's, that's too much. Nobody said that. Well, Bobby Wagner, they, there's not going to be any complaints. And I'm not trying to, to make anybody complain, but just pointing that out, that it's a lot of Ravens fans' mindset. When it comes to the offense, it's like, oh, no, we're good enough. We're straight. But when it comes to defense, oh, give me more, give me more, give me more. They can have that. They can have that give me more attitude on offense, too. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting a little bit more now. Ain't nothing wrong, especially when it comes to quality. We want the Ravens to put together the best, highest quality team that they possibly can. With players and playmakers and game changers and as many superstars as they can possibly get. Now, we know you cannot have a superstar at every single level on your team. Well, unless you're the Rams, that is. Rams, they, they, but most teams, they're not going to have a superstar on every single level of the team at every single position. You're just not going to have that. So we don't expect that. But Ravens have the ability and the capability to get another one on offense. It's just a matter of if they're willing to make it happen. So we'll see what happens with Bobby Wagner. Hopefully they get him. I'm, we'll see. Because if, if he left the Rams without a deal, and you know the Rams, again, they can make stuff happen. If he leaves the Ravens without a deal, I won't be surprised. I don't think many people will be surprised. But um, it'll be something. It'll be something. So let's see if... Eric DaCosta can close on this one. I, I, I'm sure he learned a valuable lesson from Zadarius Smith. Don't try me. <laughs> like straight up, man. Now, it did come out, though. The initial numbers from Zadarius Smith uh, from his Vikings deal looked a lot more than it was from his Ravens deal, but some even more detailed numbers came out. And while the Zadarius Smith deal from the Vikings was more than what the Ravens offered, it wasn't like it was this crazy amount more. And, and I think they added like a dummy year on the back end of the contract or a, a void year. So it um, he still got more money, but it wasn't like this crazy amount. Da, 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 da. But anyway, 
I think Eric DaCosta will have learned a lesson from that. Like, hey, don't try to lowball. Now, you ain't going to break the bank for Bobby Wagner. Like, he's been out there since before free agency. They were, it was said that the Cowboys were interested. It was said that the Rams were interested. It was even said a couple weeks ago that the Ravens were interested. But obviously nothing has shaken yet. Nothing has happened yet. Now, a, a lot of times with these free agents where it's take, taking a little longer, you hear the stories, oh, they just want to make the right move. They don't want to rush it. And I can understand that because this is his first time in free agency. He's been a Seahawks his entire career. So, no, you're not going to just jump into something. You're not going to just want to rush into something like that. You're going to want to take your time and, oh, okay, let me pace it. Let me pace it. So, we'll see if the Ravens can uh, make him make that decision or he ends up going back to the West Coast. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to everybody that caught this late night. Or if you didn't catch it late night, shout out to everybody that caught it early in the morning. But either way, I appreciate you catching it. I love you. I appreciate you. We out.